I somehow escaped alive from the depths of the sea, from the tentacles of Leviathan. Imagine, just for a moment, you're pulled into the depths of the North Sea by a creature thought to be a mere myth. That was my reality. My life as a fisherman had always been about the simple pleasures of the sea. I loved the rhythm of the waves, the salty breeze, and the thrill of the catch. But one day, out in the vast openness of the North Sea, everything I thought I knew about the ocean was turned upside down. It started as a day like any other. The sky was a mix of blues and greys, and the sea was calm. I set out early, hoping for a good haul. As I cast my nets into the water, I noticed something unusual. The sea, usually so predictable, started behaving strangely. The water swirled and frothed, as if something massive was moving beneath the surface. And then, out of the depths, it emerged. A creature of legends, so huge that its eyes seemed like windows into another world. Its body was covered in scales that shimmered in the little light that reached us, and tentacles, larger and more powerful than any I'd ever imagined, reached out towards my boat. Then I remembered my grandfather's stories about the North Sea, and it occurred to me the great Leviathan. In an instant, those tentacles had wrapped around my vessel, pulling it and me down into the dark, cold depths of the sea. Panic set in as I descended faster and faster into the abyss. The pressure built, the light faded, and for a brief moment, I was sure my end had come. Surrounded by darkness, I waited for the inevitable, but the Leviathan had other plans. Deep under the sea, it released its grip on my boat. There, in the silence of the deep, it simply watched me. Its eyes, ancient and wise, seemed to look right through me. The eyes of the creature. I only remember the eyes of the creature. I don't know how, but everything around me went black. I think I was hit by some part of my boat that broke into pieces, or maybe this is the effect of the Leviathan. I woke up on the shore with torn clothes and a terrible dizziness. Even to this day, I don't know what really happened after I looked the creature directly in the eyes. I only know that I live one more day and I have the opportunity to tell the story further. I'm sure that the story will turn into a fishing myth among the fishermen of the North Sea, but I really experienced something like that. I was changed forever, and now when I go fishing, I can swear that sometimes I hear the creature from the depths. The mysteries of the Nordic Sea are inexplicable, and some stories might be real.